Hi, Scorpio. How are you? It's your girl, Alex, and it's a bit late. It's about 1.30 in the morning, and I'm awake. So I said, hey, let me do a reading for Scorpio. God Angels Universe, hey, please bring Scorpio any information they need at this time to help clarify any confusion going on. Mm, five of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Ew. Four of Cups. Ace of Cups. Hierophant. Justice. Three. Three of Pentacles. Ooh, the Emperor. Hey, MP. Knight of Swords. Okay, I feel like right out the gate that you probably should be in greater, better communication with Divine, Source, Spirit, God, Jehovah, you know, Allah, whoever you believe in. Five of Swords is um, kind of given up, feeling defeated, walking away. Um, many of you could be on the verge of that. And then here comes a Page of Pentacles. Feels like some sort of practical advice, practical information. I feel like it's to change the perception of your situation. That's what I got. Um, you have a cup being offered to you here under the four of cups. Let me hold that up. So you have a cloud hand being offered there, ace of cups being offered there, and ace of cups being offered here as well. Okay. But right now you're just like, eh, all right, God, you just bringing me another empty cup or you're bringing me a cup that I'll, I'll only be able to drink from one time. I'm going to say this. I feel like some of y'all are a little fed up with spirit <laughs> saying that nicely, right? I kind of feel like you're fed up with spirit because it's almost like you asked for something, right? You're trying to manifest something and it's almost like you may feel like spirit gets close, but no cigar, right? I'm asking for overflowing, undying, you know, pure love. And you just keep bringing me empty cups, God. Where the water at? <laughs> now watch this, because when I first initially laid these cards down, I said to myself, okay, one plus four is five. Five of cups is being disappointed, right? The Hierophant is prayer, my religious, institutional, big picture thinking, you know, the grand scheme of things, tradition, you know, um, mm. my angels just said for some of you, you're taking a traditional approach, but you are an untraditional person. Mm. Knight of Swords is dialogue. Excuse me, like I said, it's late. Uh, Eight of Swords, it's dialogue. Um, the Eight of, Eight of, sorry, Knight of Swords is dialogue. The Eight of Swords is being mentally restricted, restricted, being closed-minded, having low faith. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, so... Are you in a position to receive? Are you, right? Because the universe is trying here and again, the universe is trying here. So I kind of feel like the universe is trying to make good, right, on your request. It's trying to fulfill your request. It's trying to answer your prayer. Are you in a position to receive the answer to your prayer? Now, by the way, let me qualify that. Let me give you an example. 
Um, you know how they have on social media the jokes about what I ordered from Tamu and what I really got or what I ordered from Wish and what I really got. So it's almost like you are asking for something that one or two things are happening. When you receive it because you're not in a receiving position, right? That's not in a receiving position. If you're not in a receiving position, it's almost like, well, what are you handing me, universe? So what's a receiving position? Um, Angel said being grateful, having belief, hope, faith not being so battered and bruised by life and people that you're still hopeful and faithful and you believe. Well, thank you for that clarity. So it's almost like the universe is trying to fulfill one of your wishes, your manifestations, your desires. I just kind of feel like you want a refund, <laughs> right? One of my favoriteest companies in the world, okay, Walmart and Amazon. And I love small business, don't get me wrong. But the thing that I love about the giants is that they have no problem just giving you your money back. It's like a right here. It didn't work. Just send it back. We'll give it back. The little people sometimes want you to justify it, right? We'll prove that you didn't get it proof it's not that right so to me this feels uh, like a bit of a debate between you and your cosmic spiritual team on or the debate is about what you sent me versus what I asked for and I'm giggling because an angel just flew right in front of me and just showed me the word mercury <laughs> right we're hotly approaching that mercury retrograde i feel like some of you want to give up i feel like some of you want to give up on love i feel like some of you want to give up on a relationship and run towards your pentacles and i feel like at the moment that you're about to give up is when the universe shows up right don't ask why that happens the law of attraction and the law of opposites are twins okay they work together it's almost like the law of opposites is the gas the law of um attraction is the car okay and i feel like with this three of pentacles something is going to work out it, it to me almost feels like you and your spiritual team need to get into alignment and Scorpio truth be told I really feel like it may be you who need to get more into alignment with your spiritual team and just kind of go through your order versus what was delivered <laughs> I know <laughs> I know three of wands waiting for your waiting for something I feel like for a lot of you, you are tired of waiting and ready to give up as you saw me flip it over the nine of swords. You're stressed out because you don't know if you're going to receive a return on investment, receive what you asked for. You're at a crossroads. Okay. If you don't like this part, fast forward. I noticed something today about myself. <laughs> Scorpio Nation. I'm a tree sitter. <laughs> okay. But I'm a tree sitter in denial. Because it's almost like I want to move forward. I'm ready to take my next leap of faith. I'm ready to just, you know, go balls to the walls in, into the unknown. But it's like in my mind, I feel like I need to rest before doing that. Or in my mind, I'm just like, oh, I'm just waiting on the universe to give me instructions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, them and they, I done sat at this table and I done said to you guys before, it's almost like you waiting on the universe and universe is waiting on you. I feel like I'm in exactly in that position. But I think because in my mind, I feel ready 
feeling ready and initiating is like peanut butter and jelly. They go good together, right? It's good to be ready. And then when you're ready, you got to initiate. But I, it struck me like a bolt of lightning today. I'm like, girl, you just, you, you're, a bit, you're a bit stagnant right now. Now, by the way, I also want to clarify something. It's not that I'm doing nothing. I'm stagnant in my routine. As in, I'm a hamster on the wheel. I keep doing the same things over and over and over and over and over and over. Right? And it was very shocking. Very shocking. <laughs> very, very shocking. I'm like, <gasps> me? <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Seven of Swords. Ooh, I got the Emperor and the Empress. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Look, look, denial about powering. Okay, <sighs> Ten of Cups. Okay, so Knight of Swords with the Ten of Cups is like, hey, listen, Heffa, talking to myself. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Damn it. Um, you have the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Um, you got the Two of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. To me, this feels like displaced energy. Displaced energy. Um, and oh, by the way, for those of you who are interested in energy healing and, and um, uh, what was the other? Vibrational... No, I'm not going to really say management. I will be opening up a Calendly event soon. When I do, I will announce it on my channel. Okay. Okay. So, it's almost like you're waiting for somebody to give up. You're waiting for proof to release you from some sort of anxious, um, high stress, high worry situation. Right? For some of you, you're waiting on some sort of message uh, related to your finances, job offer, approval from a bank, you know, releasing of funds, check is in the mail, right? But four cups and two of wands, Angel said you're not doing enough. Now, angels, come on now. I'm speaking on behalf of me now. With the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, that is... Mm. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so the Ace of Cups is almost like God bringing you the feeling, the emotion, kind of like the, what is the term? The good endorphins, right? The good hormones to make you excited, to make you happy, to put your heart into it, okay? Because for a lot of you, if you're anything like me, you your heart does have to be in things where you can, you know, achieve great abundance. Hierophant, a seven of swords, sabotaging, you know, some sort of institution, running away from spiritual responsibilities. Justice, she's supposed to be um, feeding the world, giving the world, supplying the world. Oh, God. Um, I feel like it, it, okay, I don't know who this is going to resonate with. But I do kind of feel like it's the it's going to resonate with those of you who have some sort of affiliation or have some sort of status either in a relig in the religious sect or you're a spiritual practitioner, Reiki, yoga, you know, minister, priest, right? Whatever, whatever that is, this is your message. It's almost like you're you're not. It's almost like you know what to do, but you don't want to, right? Now, the emperor with the two of swords, that's that's huge. Because the emperor is my god card. The emperor is like, yo, get it done. I've set it up for you. You have what it takes. Like, go. You know what I mean? But the two of swords is, 
Okay, you, you said what now? You got it set up? Well, show me the plans, God. Not that you're not believing God. Where was it? Here, Eight of Swords. I feel like you're receiving downloads, but you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. The World card and the Ten of Cups. It feels like you know what it takes to make you happy, but for some of you, the Four of Cups is your heart is not into it. So, ooh, no wonder. Okay, Angel said, hold up them cups again. Empty cup, full cup, right? It's almost like you, for some of you, you could have missed an opportunity where the cup has run dry. See all the water, whatever it is, the liquid just overflowing. Did you wait too long, three weeks, three months, three years, and now the flow is drying up? Angel said that's your bullshit perception. Scorpio, I don't know who's reading this is. I feel like it's resonating with myself as well. But I do kind of feel like um, some of us need to get into alignment with not necessarily our life purpose, but it kind of feels like God's will, right? You may decide, you know what, you know, my parents were accountants, you know, I'm, I guess I got to be an accountant too. And God is like, no, you're going to be like a, a, a basketball coach. You know what I mean? It's, it's not really, say, for instance, breaking the mold, but I kind of feel like the universe is waiting for you to do something different. Ironically, I feel like you're waiting to do something different as well. I just looked at the Four of Cups and the Two of Wands, right? Four of Cups is being apathetic. It's being emotionally numb. It's being emotionally turned off. And for some of you, you do need an emotional jolt, an emotional push, emotional motivation for you to get out there. And mm, Angel said emotions, love specifically, is your gasoline, Scorpio. Justice and the Empress, that, that kind of says that some of you are providers to the world like your purpose for being born in this particular lifetime was to supply the world with um what they needed to help balance them out so single mother young teen single mom you know she's going to school she wants to be a nurse it's like if you came into her life, Scorpio, you were supposed you're it's almost like you're supposed to support her to help her watch her child so she can go on and do what she needs to do. So it's almost like you assist and support people on their own personal journeys and path. Wow, that's deep. pilot if you are a pilot right and you um oh that's so beautiful you're a pilot and you fly private or commercial air airplanes angels are saying you're supposed to help people who are disconnected come together, right? Or you're supposed to take supplies from point A to point B or, you know, reconnect people from with between point A and point B or C or D, right? So it kind of feels like Scorpio, three of pentacles, seven of pentacles. It's almost like some of you are waiting or trying to get in where you fit in, right? It's almost like you're waiting for your next assignment from God, but you're not in a position to receive that. Uh, I don't know. My angels just said, well, just tell them to, to practice an attitude of gratitude, right? Tell them to practice gratefulness. And I'm like, I don't know if that's going to do it. I don't know. I feel like for some of you, you could have some sort of cosmic experience, right? You could have a dream where you see God. God in my dreams are always du dual, 
right? Emperor and Empress. It's always a king and queen sitting on a throne. You know what I mean? I always know that's the God figure because it's a dual, it's, it's when depicted as humans, they're, they're two, right? The divine masculine and feminine together. The highest level of divine masculine and feminine together. But going back to um, sabotaging your advice, it's almost like for some of you, you want it to be about you versus the people you're helping. Universe is like, no, baby, the reason why we made you so abundant was so that you could feed the world. The Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords, I feel like, again, Spirit is trying to tap you. And Scorpio's like, mm, I got this crook in my neck again. I don't, I don't know. It feels like some sort of tapping sensation. Let me take a pill for that. And God is like, Scorpio, I'm, I've been trying to contact you. All right, God, I'm, we're, I'm listening. I don't know about Scorpio, but I'm listening. It's almost like some of you are too stressed to receive the message. That's what it is. God. Four of Cups and a Nine of Swords. You're emotionally depleted. You're mentally fucked. No wonder you feel like giving up because you feel like your ships are not going to come in. Golly. say this and I don't know who, who this is going to resonate with. Who's my chair squeaking? Angel said to me, either go to church, go to mosque, go to a synagogue. It's almost like just walk into the building. For some of you, it's almost like you're running from your spirituality. You're running from your gifts. You're running for, from your cosmic calling. And the universe is like, no, baby, it's time. Okay. The lovers. <laughs> My angels just said some of y'all just ain't in love with your calling. I don't, I don't think it's that because I feel in, in everything I am, Scorpio, that one of your natural characteristics is that you love to help, right? You love to assist, right? But I also kind of feel like um, you may, you could be burnt out. Um, Angel said the reason why you're feeling a little disjointed related to that characteristic of helping other people is because you feel like maybe nobody has helped you, but I feel like that's a perception. That's, the, that's at the root of this reading. I kind of feel like, Scorpio, you're under your tree taking refuge, right? And you're, you're in a, not necessarily a victimhood. You feel like a victim. Well, who's going to help me and blah, blah, blah. I feel like for the most part, a lot of you are just emotionally depleted. Okay. But I do feel like God, angels, universe is coming in to replenish your emotional supply. Okay. I just need you to not run. Okay, I need you to accept this assignment. Eight of swords. So eight, nine, seven, eight, nine of swords. Perspective, limited perspective, two of cups. Two of Cups on the Two of Wands on the Four of Cups. A lot of you are just not trying anymore. Oh, I was curious as to whether or not it was going to come out. So I have the Seven, Eight, Nine, and Ten of Swords in addition to the Two, the Five, and the um, Knight. A lot has been on your mind, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Angel said reflect on your own personal experiences for me personally it's almost like I'm waiting for 
inspiration to strike before I charge forward with the next great thing, whatever that is, whatever, whatever that means, right? But there is a part inside of me that's like, girl, you know, you ain't charging no damn where, okay? You will walk single file, <laughs> right? Um, towards your goal, but you ain't charging nowhere because you're mentally burnt out. Oh, okay, all right. Sometimes that's what the ten, ten of Swords means to me. It's feeling mentally overwhelmed. Ten of Swords is also overly sacrificing, right? I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but I, I am a Scorpio sun, Cancer moon. Cancers are the martyrs of the zodiac. Cancers will always throw themselves down on a cross talking about, but I loved you when nobody else would. I gave you my last piece of chicken when nobody, right? That's a ten of swords. I ate a pentacle, seven of swords, um, hierophant. What's keeping you out of your spiritual bag, right? What's keeping you from connecting from God in the universe? Mm, five of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you feel like you were left out. God forgot your number. It's like, God, well, you sent me here to help everybody else. Well, I just feel like a workhorse. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this reading just got deep. Three of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, seven of Pentacles. That's 13 Pentacles. Ooh, Scorpio, King of Cups. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Okay. So I got the Emperor, the Empress, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. I got the Two of Cups. I got the Lovers. I got the Ace of Cups. And the Ten of Cups, by the way. Scorpio, I feel like you need to have a very, very deep and raw conversation with spirit, the divine, God, okay? And I feel like as part of this conversation, the end result should be recalibration with spirit, okay? Now, here's why this is important, young grasshoppers. You want to take it to the Lord, right? You want to take it to God, right? You want to just, just rip the Band-Aid off and be like, God, listen, I just kind of feel like over the last five or 10 years, you know, you've made me into a workhorse and I'm just feeling a little taken advantage of, or I feel like, yeah, I got all these blessings, but I feel like a hamster on your wheel of life. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, them and they, I do not follow a religious, um, the religious rules of how to contact or how to relate to God. Okay, uh, so, um, but I feel like you can be that honest, like God. Okay, yes, I know I'm behind on my assignment, but if I'm behind on my my assignment, here's why. Right? I know, yeah, I'm in heaven. You know, I signed this soul contract and I said I would help people whenever, whatever. But, you know, is it possible for me to come back and amend that contract and basically say, you know what? In the process of me helping people, can I get a helper too? Right? I feel like, Scorpio, you need to have an honest, like I said, conversation with God where you just lay it all out on the line. Now, by the way, notice what I did there, right? Notice that kind of, you know, God, when you gave me this assignment, right? In other words, I acknowledge what I, I'm, what I think I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm just saying to God, you know, God, I didn't realize it was going to be like this. I didn't realize it was going to be this hard. And, you know, I'm sorry, accountability. I'm sorry if I'm not where I'm at. I'm sorry if I'm behind in my quota. You know what I mean? But a sister needs help. I feel like God would appreciate you for that.
for some of you, this is a love reading, right? For some of you, um, you're ready to give up on love, right? I'm shifting the storyline just a bit. You're wanting to give up on love and the hopes of finding love. I kind of feel like you could have maybe a younger, innocent person around you, right? Somebody where the age gap could be anywhere from eight to nine years younger than you. And I feel like this person's a good look. You know, I wouldn't, you know, kick him out of the movie theater. But I kind of feel like based on where you are right now, um, it's almost like you want to emotionally connect, but you only want to connect if you know it's going to be significant. If you know this person is equally yoked, okay? But again, angels are going back to Scorpio, receive, Scorpio, receive, Scorpio, be grateful for what you get because being grateful for what you get will bring in more. I'm going to say this, Scorpio, I'm looking here, Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to, I was going to say something different, but angels just brought in that quote, heavy is the head that wears the crown. I feel like for a lot of you, this is what I was going to say. I feel like for a lot of you, um, oh, <laughs> if you resonate with what I'm about to say, leave me a comment. But I feel like for a lot of you, you're over this whole blessings thing. It's like, yeah, I'm blessed and my kids are blessed. And it's like, um, yeah, okay. I was watching again, uh, Mateus de Stefano, Stefano um, video about remembering his past lives. And <clears throat> I remember this one video I watched of him and he was like, I'm bored with my spirituality, right? And, and basically I resonated with that so hard. And it's because when you've been in your gift for so long, for me, it has to be approaching close to 30 years. That's a long time, right? But when you've been in it for so long and the people you teach are having these beautiful, you know, inspirational, oh my God, I saw angels last night and oh, I read for somebody and it came true. When they're experiencing these beautiful things that are happening to them for the first time, you're an OG. You're like, yeah, hmm, I remember that, right? So I kind of feel like here, there is a desperate and strong need for renewed inspiration. Scorpio, some of y'all, whomever this is resonating with, you need to be inspired. And I feel like the best way to inspire you is through love, right? Whether God brings you a beautiful stray animal or you adopt an animal or you go out in nature and rekindle a love affair with the earth. I feel like that's the remedy here. I feel like that's what you're waiting on from the universe. You're waiting on the universe to send you your love your lover here you are with the king of cups queen of cups right that's scorpio sun cancer moon some of you are waiting on this beautiful amazing dynamic love from god knight of swords with the ten of cups you that's knight of knight of swords is just getting to it just going for it so i kind of feel like if you as an example put dating on hold or love on hold. Um, I kind of feel like the universe is saying, Hey, um, give that up. Let that go. You know, the idea that you're a perfect person, perfect mate, perfect partner is not here. Let that go. The, 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 um, experiences that you've had dating in the past and all the bullshit that people put you through, baby, let that go. Every one of those 10 swords, I feel like is something that you need to release yourself from to let go of so you can receive this beautiful Ace of Cups. And for some of you, it's not just receiving the Ace of Cups. 
for some of y'all is receiving a whole lot of pentacles, okay? Because that's something I didn't call out here um, on the table. I have the page of pentacles. I have the three twice. I have the five. I have the eight. I have the nine. I have the seven, right? I feel like there is um, substance here. You know what I mean? But I kind of feel like the universe is saying, hey, Scorpio, we need your participation. We need you to get up from up under your tree. We need you to be put in a, you, we need you to put yourself in a position of receiving. We need for you to be re-inspired. It's almost like Scorpio, we need you to show back up. And this is weird because my angel said intuitively, the only thing that's going to do that is a death and rebirth um, process, the death of the old. Now, here's the thing, angels, you can't ungo through what you've gone through, right? In other words, we've experienced heartbreaks and we've gone through healing and we're to the point where we um, have healed from the heartbreak so it no longer hurts, right? But what about the caution that we now use as a result of that heartbreak? We can't not use that caution because we learned the lesson to maybe use the caution in the first place. In other words, yeah, in my younger days when I was young and dumb and didn't know shit, I would just trust people all the time. Well, today I'm more cautious. Today they have to earn it. Today I'm paying attention, right? What I'm saying is we can't unlearn to be cautious with our, especially with our hearts. Angel said, this person coming in, you won't have to be. All right. You need to get into alignment, Scorpio. It's almost like if if you're going to give up, go ahead and give up. I want you to, right? Because that's when the miracles happen. Look, it's right there. Look, just when you're about to walk away, boom, here they come. They're coming in to rekindle your heart. They're coming in to restore your faith. I feel like I'm preaching now. They're coming in to show you that God has not forgotten about you. I love that. I freaking love that. We just need you to show up, to go for it. No pain, no gain. No risk, no reward. I feel like for you, two of wands fell out again. I didn't even know that. Fell from behind. For you, yeah, you're at a crossroads. I'm just going to be real with you. For a lot of y'all, y'all are scared to move, right? Y'all are scared to, to want love. You're scared to be in love. You're scared, you know, you're so afraid of the past repeating itself. Okay, here's a specific message for a specific person. Angels are saying love is not sacrificed, by the way. So, <laughs> excuse me, so many of you who have had personal readings with, um, it came up in your reading that the way that you are, you first learned what love was, it wasn't love. It might have been verbal abuse. It might have been sexual abuse. It might have been you know, uh, cause and effect, you know, the whole, oh, well, I'm not going to love you till you do this, right? It, it was not, it was conditional love. Thank you for that. It was not true forms of pure love. And I kind of feel like that's all you know right now. So this idea of being equally yoked with a lover, I get it now why you can't receive. I get it why you can't receive this person because your version of what God is sending you is very different, right? There's the conditional love and you're like, I'm over that shit. And God is like, well, here, take this cup. And you're like, I'm over it, God. Okay. Who chop this turn? Mm, this turned out to be a good breeding. Okay. So my angels just said, think about something, Scorpio. 
if your heart was ever broken by whomever, whether it was mom, dad, siblings, lovers, right, whomever, if your heart was ever broken and you survived, as in you healed, okay, just think about something. When you go to love again, you're loving with that wounded, now recovered heart. So, and I said this to many people on the, on personal readings. So when the heart becomes active again, that scar because is going to reactivate as well, right? Because again, it was wounded and it recovered and it healed, but now it never beats the same as it did before because it's scarred. Okay. Now angels, I'm going to challenge you all in saying, how can a Scorpio who has a scarred, battered, or bruised heart love unconditionally? My angels just said, because of your belief, because of your hope, and because of your faith, right? Because there are some people, athletes in particular, right? Thinking about basketball players or football players who have knee surgery or ankle or foot surgery, baby, it doesn't stop them from playing football. It just takes them out momentarily, but they have that drive, that passion, that motivation to get back out on the field for Scorpio specifically. Um, I just noticed I'm at 41 minutes for Scorpio specifically. You're not running back out on the field. You're up under your tree. Now that makes sense. Now I see why you're running from spiritual advice saying, listen, you need to focus on why you keep sabotaging situations in your life. I personally feel like for a lot of you, you refuse to let people get close to you, right? Um, and it's almost like you don't want to give from that part of yourself because for some of you, you have an issue with overgiving right? But it's almost like the less you give is the less you receive through law of attraction. So I feel like 337, um, there has to be re reciprocity. There has to be reciprocity. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're trying to figure that out. Um, what I learned a long time ago, specifically, the way to build trust is when your words and your actions match over a long period of time. So if I say, hey, I'm gonna call you when I get off of work, I say it and then I do it. And then I said, okay, hey, this Saturday, we're gonna go out, you know, then uh, Saturday comes and we do it. And I keep doing that over and over. I tell you something, then I follow it up by doing it. And I do that over and over and over. That builds trust. And Scorpio, we know your relationship with trust. <laughs> You ain't got one, <laughs> right? But I feel like, I feel like with the Emperor King of Cups and the Two of Swords, I kind of feel like you're neglecting your superpower. You're neglecting the part of you that is so beautiful and delicious and warm and, and God sent, right? Y'all ain't the King of Cups by mistake. God knew what he was doing. But I feel like for many of you, it's like, all right, I'm the king or queen of cups, but guess what? I'm shut down right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, queen of cups, ten of cups, the outcome cards, right? I have the knight of swords, back and forth conversation about what it takes to open your heart, make you happy, and feel comfortable in it or safe in an emotional space. I personally feel like you may you may need to have that conversation with God. For some of you, you may need to have this conversation with a partner or mate. Okay. Um, Knight of Swords, Eight of Swords. Okay. Scorpio, I gotta I gotta get off this reading. It's a lot of time going by, but it's good information. I mean, some people like the longer readings. Some people don't. Moonology Manifestation. I love this deck. That's why I reach for it 
I need to pull my other Moonology cards out. Angels, what additional messages do you have for Scorpio? Your mind is telling you to give up, but your heart is still waiting. Oh, God, that's a horrible position to be in, right? Your mind is like, girl, just cut your losses and go on. Your heart is like, no, I kind of feel like this is my person and they have the love that I need. There is an imbalance here because I kind of feel like somebody is overly sacrificial, Scorpio, <laughs> right? And I also feel like whatever it is that they're receiving in return, they're looking through that filter of sacrificing, right? The whole, oh, I give to everybody, nobody gives me. Heffa, didn't your daughter take you to dinner last night? Okay, I'm just saying. I don't know who that was for. That's the Ten of Swords. That's absolutely the Ten of Swords. Take a breather. Beautiful. Beautiful. Be proud of yourself. <gasps> That's a big message. Last quarter moon in Taurus. Taurus is your astrological polar opposite. So in other words, on an analog clock, if Scorpio was 3 o'clock, uh, Taurus is 9. If Scorpio was 12, Taurus is 6. <sighs> Work through your feelings. Last quarter, moon in Aries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be proud of yourself. Work through your feelings. Yeah. Some of you are just everyday overwhelmed, mentally overwhelmed. Last card. Get me out of here. Forgive. Now, angels, who are they forgiving? Life. Oh, my God. I love that. Forgive life. Life be life in sometimes. Um, I'm going to say something wildly controversial. Okay? And trust me when I tell you God knows my heart. Okay? I heard, and I'm getting chills, hard chills about this. I heard it's okay to forgive God, right? Because I feel like truth be told, a lot of you are like, damn, you know, not that you're cursing at God, but you're like, why'd I choose this contract? It's like, God, how can you let me do this to myself? How you, how you let me come down here and, and have to give and heal the world and then I'm going to go starving or you know what I mean? So when I say to you, forgive God, it's not like God did something and y'all had a falling out and now y'all ain't speak. Now for some of y'all that may actually be the case, but to me, forgiving God is almost like forgiving yourself and saying, damn, how come I didn't know better, right? How come I didn't know better? How come I didn't know to ask for more support for myself in this journey, in this journey of life, right? Um, but there's no better time than the present to have that conversation with God now. You have the justice with the, um, the Hierophant, right? This is legal, that's um, marital. Right. So I kind of feel like your soul contract absolutely can be amended or updated. I just kind of feel like I say this respectfully. A lot of y'all got to stop acting out, running away, sabotaging situations, you know, you know, laying down on a cross, sacrificing yourself and, you know, staying blocked up, lack of faith, losing. Right. I need you to make effort, Scorpio, and have this conversation, initiate this conversation with God, angels, universe on your life path. Like, God, why did, why did I do this to myself? Why didn't you stop me? Why didn't you save me from doing this to myself? And I am getting a beautiful message from God. God, I'm sorry for this long reading, but um, the message from God is this. The challenge for you, Scorpio, was to always get you back 
to utilizing your heart, right? To always bring you back into a position where you can continue to love, okay? In this lifetime, we knew that there would be all kinds of obstacles. Who I'm getting emotional. All kinds of obstacles to keep you from loving, okay? Your challenge was not to succumb to those. Your challenge was never to succumb to those. Your challenge was to overcome those, okay? So right now, if you are feeling taken advantage of, if you're feeling emotionally depleted, rest, take your time, right? I'm always going to be here to refill your cup, always. You never even have to ask. I just immediately show up, okay? But every now and then, but I do need you to get back into the fight. So I understand every now and then you're going to need to rest. But once you're done resting, I need you to get back into the fight. I need you to get back out there and start delivering love to people who don't have it, right? You, more than anyone on the planet, knows what that feels like, right? So, number one, we knew you could handle this and you can, okay? Please don't let the weight of the world deactivate you for good. Oh, I love that. I love that. I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I, I love you so much. Sorry for the long reading. If it resonates, if it helps, leave me a comment. Let me know. I love you guys. Bye.